Hello, this is Dwayne Norton with Schmidt Music Company, and we're coming to you today from the Schmidt Music Warehouse in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. We're here today to talk a little bit about uh, piano-shaped objects uh, and, and, and the difference between a good-use piano and a, and a not-so-good-use piano, and how um, a Craigslist ad or a Facebook Marketplace ad could actually say the same things with a similar picture, but have two wildly divergent uh, instruments, um, or, you know, represented. Start with, I'm standing in front of a 35-year-old Baldwin studio piano. So, we're walking into somebody's house, we're looking at this piano, we're saying, okay, we want to take this in as a possible trade-in, and um, the customer on the phone says to us, it's in mint condition. It's beautiful. It looks great. So let's get a close up of what looks great is. This is the bench. So we've got some burns in the bench. A lot of chipping, a lot of different things like this. The legs, the bottom piece is coming out. Then we go up from here and we see that somebody took enough time and love and care to put a damp chaser system on it, which is a humidification system. Well, that's a positive. Uh, the leg has been hit a couple hundred times. Uh, I've got chips in the fallboard. Um, discoloration in the wood actually I don't know if there was some tape on it or whatever, and they peeled it up and it took the veneer with it. Um, the lid, you, know, you can see maybe somebody tried to put some, some more burning. Uh, they tried to put some chemical thing on it and it stripped the finish. Uh, so a lot of uh, kind of red flags just looking at the cabinet. and. You know, we, we, we always talk about using your senses to, um, uh, to, to kind of determine the value. So, you know, when we, when we look at this, uh, we see a lot of red flags. And, you know, so that's your eyes. And then we're going to lift the fallboard up and we see the keys are slightly yellowed. And um, so that's... Again, we're using our eyes and just kind of determining that maybe there's something here. Uh, so, piano sounds in tune. We're using our ears, it sounds okay. And when we push the pedals down, striking in the keys we can hear that we can feel that um, so we know that there's going to be some action problems when we go and look inside it's something that a technician is going to have to look at and do all sorts of stuff like that then we get into the inside of the piano and come on inside let's look in the lid boy here's some really great cues uh, we're going to use we're going to use another sense right now uh, we're going we're gonna to use our nose. Um, it's interesting. Um, it's a combination of uh, mold, musty, cigarette. Yellow keys. Okay, that would make sense. Burn marks. That would make sense. It smells a little musty, a little cigarette. Um, you know, uh, we see things like this where the glue is kind of coming undone. That's another good cue that maybe we got some uh, some humidity or moisture problems. The discoloration of the hammers. Uh, if you look at the hammer, it's kind of not white like wool usually is. It's kind of a yellowish, brownish. Again, that would mean those hammers are retaining some of the odors, some of the um, thing that happens put my finger up on the tuning pins 
and I get all sorts of slight rust, mildewy type of things. Um, so this is a piano that uh, is probably unsaleable for us. Um, and yet a Craigslist ad or a Facebook Marketplace ad would say, use Baldwin Studio Piano. Uh, and you know maybe even depending on the lighting or the picture or whatever that would be on it, it would look okay. But when you take a quick look, when you take a quick smell, and then when you go through and play the action with the pedals, you have to do it with the pedals, because whenever you push the pedal down on a piano, uh, you can see that the, the dampers are rising off the strings. Here's a case for the, the dampers and the bass are rising. And here's a case for the whole, look at that. You think that pedal's out of adjustment? I, I've never heard that, never heard that in a, in a, in a concert piece. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back in our showroom now at uh, our Brooklyn Center uh, warehouse, Schmidt Music, Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. And this is an aftershot. So this is, uh, I think the first piano we looked at was a Baldwin studio piano that was about 35 to 40 years old. This one's about 25 to 30 years old, about 10 years younger. Um, and uh, same height and same general uh, look to it, a little different music desk and a little different leg style. But as you can see, again, using our senses, we're you know, using our eyes and we go, boy, this looks much nicer, right? This was in a, a situation uh, where the piano was, was well cared for. Now, is it perfect? No. I got a couple little scratches, I got a couple little things like this, but it's 35 years old. Now, open it up. We start. It has a ton more tone to it. Has a ton more. My piano teacher is going to yell at me for how I finger my chromatics. So everything's good. Let's try the pedal. Everything's working real good. Now we go pop open the lid, and wow, that looks beautiful. We see some of that um, marking that we talked about, but it's much less severe. Um, you know, the action, the tuning pins, you know, stick your nose in there, and it just looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. Um, piano's in very nice shape. So this would be an example of one that we would be proud to sell on our floor with a warranty um, as we sell all of our uh, used pianos, even pianos that we take in on consignment with warranties now. Very small percentage of pianos um, that actually make it to a sales floor with a warranty um, where you know, we feel comfortable that you can start your family, uh, you know, playing musical, uh, playing piano, and, and you know, having a, a great musical experience that will, will make it through your kids, uh, you know, moving on and moving out. So um, it's, it's a, a diamond in the rough, and we're looking for them, and we're, we're you know, we're, we're, we're looking for them, and we're trying to uh, make sure that uh, we're handling this the right way. So uh, if you come in and get something from us, and if it's used, you can be rest assured that uh, Everybody in our in our company is is giving it the thumbs up and, and saying this this is something that that we're proud to have on our floor, and you would be proud to have in your home.